Hello and welcome to Trip South America on Air. In this YouTube channel, we will be uploading different short videos in order to help you sell South America in a very easy way by sharing our knowledge with you. In this occasion, we will be learning about the different ways to get to Machu Picchu. My name is Leandro Sempronio and it's a pleasure to be your host today. As Trip South America, we cover all these countries. We have uploaded the first video with the presentation of our company, so you may want to check that one first. Uh, you are more than invited to pass by our website that you can find in the screen. And why not send us an email if you have a request for a specific video or maybe you have a feedback that you want to share. But let me show you in a map where the Machu Picchu region is located in a Peruvian map. If we zoom in, Cusco is the first name that you have to learn. Cusco City, this is the main city in the area and is of course where the airport is located. How to arrive from Cusco to the Machu Picchu, which is of course the star in this area, will depend on the available time that the passengers have. At least they will need two nights. This is the fastest because one is too risky. The first night is always suggested to be as easy as possible. Maybe just an scenic tour, a city tour with the typical attractions in Cusco City. Also, eat light because Cusco is approximately at uh, 3,000 meters above sea level. So it's better for the passengers to get used to the altitude to avoid the, uh, the altitude sickness. And uh, then they can travel on the second day. So the fastest option, as I was saying, is a full day to Machu Picchu and then return to Cusco. How to arrive to Machu Picchu in a traditional way is by train. And the train station is in the town, in the base of the mountains, which is Aguascalientes. Aguascalientes, as you can see, is a bit more modern town, uh, not the traditional ones that uh, you can find in the rest of the region. But they also have a lot of hotels here. So if the clients have more uh, available time, then it's always suggested to uh, overnight outside of Cusco City. And this way, they can uh, also return to the Machu Picchu. Because here, in the Machu Picchu, the first visit, which uh, has to be pre-booked and prepaid and will be mandatorily with the local guide, either if it's private or shared, um, they can return to the ruins uh, on a second visit that can be on their own if they want, that same afternoon or maybe the following day. So if they want to take this second visit, then they will have to overnight here in the town. Um, another accommodation option, if they have the time to do so, is in the valley, the sacred valley. Um, this region that is in the middle of Cusco or in, on the way from Cusco to the Machu Picchu is very interesting and it has a lot of culture and history about the Inca culture as for example the Pisac ruins which is um, a perfect place to learn about the agriculture system that the Inca had with these platforms and the different weathers that they created from platform to platform because it, it, it slightly changed um, the, the wind, the temperature, so it's super interesting. And in the excursion of the Sacred Valley, they will have a lot of these kind of stops that uh, are both um, educational but also to stretch their legs, of course. And, um, well, this is uh, a little bit of the landscape that they will see along the, the excursion. And um, when the excursion is uh, finished, they have the option to return to Cusco City 
or maybe overnight in the valley because the, here there are also a lot of different accommodation alternatives or they can go straight this same day or, or maybe the following day if they overnight it here to the Old Shantai Tambo train station and from here take the train to Aguascalientes. So from Aguascalientes you can uh, arrive from Oshantai Tambo or from Cusco. And this is the traditional uh, way because for the most adventurous ones we have the trekking circuits. Inca Trail is the most famous one uh, but it's super demanded and also a little bit expensive for some budgets. Um, the anticipation that you have to count to get a place uh, is approximately five months. Uh, so the Salkantai is the perfect alternative for those with a smaller budget or maybe couldn't get a place. I was mentioning the trains. Let me go back to the presentation. Uh, we have two companies, Peru Rail and Inca Rail. And both companies have different train categories to choose from. Hiram Vingham, for example, is the most luxurious one for the Peru Rail Company. Then we have Vista Dom and Expedition, which is the most economic option for this company. And then Inca Rail has four different options. The private Machu Picchu, the first class Machu Picchu, 360 degrees Machu Picchu, and the Voyageur Machu Picchu. And to sum up, the airport is located in Cusco, available accommodation in different places, Cusco, Sacred Valley, Aguascalientes, different train categories to choose from. For the most adventurous ones, trekking circuits are excellent options. The tour to Machu Picchu must be pre-booked and will be guided mandatorily, shared or private. And the possibility for a second visit that same afternoon or the following morning. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. I invite you to pass by leaveit.travel um, and find out more about this project. And also follow us on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. And once more, thank you for watching. Also, do not forget to pass by our website and why not send us an email. Thank you very much.